we've dropped into Plasticom, Ashford in Kent. Now you think straight away, plastic components, but they've got a fully kitted out machine shop and your latest investment is Sodic AD35L EDM sync machine, is that right? Yes. It's, uh, it just makes manufacturing a lot faster, it's a lot smoother, especially considering the linear drive motors. Right, so previously you had an um, EDM that's working on ball screws, I, I yes. assume. Yes, but the advantage of that is where you get much higher movement speeds, you don't actually have to machine using uh, suction or flushing because the movement of the electrode sucks all the debris caused by sparking out of the hole, which makes it a lot quicker and you can achieve, well, you appear to achieve a lot better surface finishes as well, okay. which, which, which also helps. And it's, also, it's always about time, isn't it? So. Oh, so when you say time, what about setting the machine, changing tools and things like that? Uh, changing the tools, yes. Is, uh, changing the tools, there's a not, not a lot in it because yeah. it's a very similar process. The tools still come out to the head rather than the head picking them up from a standard point. It's still got its pickup positions, but it's about the same as it was on the old ones. It's mainly about uh, it, it's, it's mainly about the advancements in technology because the old machine I had was slightly older than me. I think it was 22 and a half years old. That's good. Then there is age, yeah. Oh yeah. Whereas this one, obviously being a lot more advanced, I think they've only been manufacturing for two or three years, I believe. So lots of advancements, a lot quicker. Uh, you pay, for, you you get what you pay for. Yeah. So it is an investment, but it's going to make its money back solely because it's so much quicker than our old machine, and we can do a lot that we couldn't do before. Okay, such as uh, it was holding tolerant. What we had struggled with before is you could set something up, uh, you do one, and it would come out absolutely perfectly. But the issue would be you couldn't. It wasn't repeatable enough. You could put something else in and run the same program, and it would end up with a different result. Right, so it's giving you that repeatability yeah. all day long. Yeah, and it's not only it's not only about how the machine functions. It's also it's also it's also about the customer service. Right, okay. Because they are all, they're always there to pick up the phone. If you have any troubles, not with the machine itself, but how you've maybe you've forgotten to pro, how to program something, or there's a little tip you've not yeah. you've not used before. So I'm thinking, yeah, when you when you think customer support, something's gone wrong with the machine, but it's not the fact that things have gone wrong with the machine, just little bits of help in terms yeah. of your programming and things like that? Yeah, it's just things that smooth it out. It may make something quicker, you may be able to get a better finish. And it's just a little tips that you wouldn't know unless you could call someone else and find out. Right. And I find that, and the fact, even if something does go wrong, which is very rare with these machines, uh, all their spares are kept yeah. in the UK. So you can always get, right. you can always pretty much get next day spares if you need them. Brilliant, so I've got a little, you know, I want to get a slightly better surface finish. I pick up the phone to one of the guys, they answer it. Yeah, and they might give me different conditions because you can get various different conditions on the controller. You might just have to change something, but you might not know how. Right. Whereas they'll give you a tip and point you in the right direction. Yeah. And that is something that makes a difference because otherwise you've then got to try and read the manual. And yeah. if you see the manuals that are about <laughs> six inches thick, yeah. you might get a bit bewildered by that. Okay, so. that's fantastic. It's not just about the machine, but you've been mentioning support and ease of use of the machine. Yeah. Looking over your shoulder there, you've got the the controls, what do they like to use? Uh, very easy, I'm used to using touchscreen controls, especially with the mills we've already got. Yeah. So it's, you can, you can like, like you say, lots of machiners, lots of machinists like to use, uh, like to be able to click buttons and things like that. But it's a newer age, I like using, I like using to be able to use a touchscreen. Yeah. And it just, it smooths things out, because you can see something, you can just point to it. You don't have to, you don't have to find the mouse, which I regularly drop on the floor. <laughs> but. Uh, and everything's, everything's very logical. It's easy to find. Well, very easy to find. Yeah. And it's very intuitive. It's not, it's not difficult. You don't have to think about things too much. Everything's where, being a machinist, everything's where you think it right. should be, okay. which does smooth things out a lot. So. OK. Now, you also mentioned here, sort of, yeah, we mentioned repeatability, but accuracy. Sort of, yeah. You're going down to what? Five, ten microns? Yeah, you can, you can easily go below ten microns, and you would probably quite comfortably do five after that. One, you then got to rely on the accuracy of your electrodes and your machine, yeah. and then you've also got to be able to start having a kit to measure it. <laughs> Fair enough. Are you are confident we'll do it, no problems, yeah. eh? Okay. Now, I'd you're obviously really, really happy with the machine itself yeah. and how it works, speed and things like that. I want to see what you've been manufacturing just to prove how good it is. Uh, what I've got over here is a set of inserts which a customer required... He required a spark finish. You might be able to mill it, but it's the finish he desired which made it. Right. So he had to, had to rough mill it and then spark it. And uh, with this sort of thing, it's not too complex, but spark, being able to spark it makes it very useful. And then you've got things that you can't mill. For instance, I have, I've got this 
slide which goes in. It's, uh, it's got four tiny cores on it, but you cannot mill you cannot mill the sharp corners like you can on this because you can spark you can spark it in. We have we have the electrodes wire eroded, and then we can spark in and get all the tolerances on the corner, and we can then blend it in with this bottom face. And that is something we could never do without a machine like this. But uh, it certainly makes life a lot easier. You get very, very good finishes with relative ease compared to the old ones. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, it's just a lot less hassle. Okay. What I so think I think in summary, Owen, you are really, really happy with this subject machine. Yes, it was, money, it was money well spent and it's made our production a lot more efficient, which is because we're looking to do more production work now. And this enables us to do it consistently, repeatedly, without having to worry and fiddle with things which we shouldn't have to do. Brilliant. Thank you, Owen, very much for that.